To deal with the electricity crisis in South Africa, Govan built a pebble bed reactor. How will it affect the IS curve? Well, we know when governments spend more, autonomous spending in the economy increases. And we know that an increase in autonomous spending will shift the IS curve to the right. So, the IS curve shifts from this position to this position. If government wants to increase its surplus, government must either spend less or receive more. So government spending must decrease or taxes must increase. A decrease in government spending and an increase in taxes will decrease the demand for goods and services. Therefore, the IS curve will shift to the left. The decrease in share prices have a negative effect on consumer confidence. In other words, consumers will spend less. The decrease in consumer confidence leads to decrease in autonomous consumer spending. Demand for goods and services decrease and we have a leftward shift in the IS curve. The South African Reserve Bank decreases the repo rate. We know there is a link between the interest rate and investment spending. If the interest rate decreases, investment spending will increase. Note in this case, it's not the autonomous part of investment that changes, but that part of investment that depends on the interest rate. So we have a change in interest rate, and therefore we will have a movement along the IS curve. The interest rate changed from one level to another level, and we move from this point to this point on the IS curve. The increase in the investor confidence leads to an increase in the autonomous part of investment spending. There is an increase in demand for goods and services, therefore the IS curve will shift to the right.